Hi, I'm Jay Reed. Welcome back to Miller Motor Cars here in Greenwich, Connecticut. And today we're going to look at one of McLaren's top models, the 720S. It's incredible to think that McLaren has only been producing sports cars for 10 years, given how many we've seen from them. This car itself is already the third iteration of their supercars series after the MP412C and the 650S. In case you don't know, McLaren has traditionally sold three tiers of sports cars. Firstly, the Sports Series, which is the 570S and its variants, but this was discontinued in 2020. Then the Ultimate Series, which represents the very top end of McLaren's capabilities, such as the Senna, the Speedtail, and the imminent wonderful looking hypercar, the Elva. The GT Series, which at the moment is the GT itself, as seen here. And then lastly, the Supercar Series, which centers around this car, the 720S, but also includes the brand new Artura. But anyway, back to the 720S, and this car shares some of its engineering with the McLaren P1, in that it has a one-piece carbon fiber tub, including the roof. McLaren call this the Mono Cage 2, which helps to reduce weight, whilst also retaining strength. It also has the effect of reducing the width of this pillar here, so you can see more easily when you're driving the car. And I'm afraid to say, there is nothing much to see of the engine. The engine is planted really way down low and they actually got it 10 centimeters lower in the 720S compared to the 650S. So I can't show you a, uh, an open bonnet with an engine. What I can tell you is that it's a four liter twin turbo V8, pushing out 710 brake horsepower and 538 pound feet of torque, pushing you up to 62 miles an hour in 2.9 seconds on its way to 212 miles per hour. And it applies all that power to the road using a suspension system called the Proactive Chassis Control 2, designed in part from research made at Cambridge University. The car senses all the bumps and ripples and then adjusts its setup to ensure that you are set up correctly for the conditions. It's a menacing looking thing too, isn't it? Apparently its design is inspired by the great white shark. Yes, not kidding. I'd say they did an incredible job as it truly has presence in the flesh, particularly in this wonderful shade of orange. And whilst we're on the subject of engineering, take a look at the doors. They are twin hinged dihedral doors. <laughs> and inside you are met with a sea of Alcantara gorgeous leather and this wonderful orange trim going throughout. And the seats are sporting and firm and supportive but not uncomfortable. And you're met with this carbon fiber and leather steering wheel and you can't see too much of the bonnet, but you can see down the wings of this car through the wing mirrors. Uh, and it's a very, very happy and nice place to be, especially with this wonderful roof uh, down. And it certainly has its own unique sense of style. This is not an Italian feeling car at all. Uh, this nor a British one with wood and leather everywhere. No, this has a unique McLaren feel to it, more German, I would say, than anything which of course is a good thing because it normally means that is a high quality experience, which this certainly feels that it is. So if you're looking for something that is quite unique and separates itself from its Italian competition, I'd say this is it. And now I'm very lucky to say that I will be having a drive in a 720S Spider. So let's see what that is like. And again, thank you very much to Miller Motor Cars for allowing me to, to do this. Really appreciate it. Spartan interior and they do <clears throat> change out their ergonomics in the 720s because now they have these beautiful panels flowing around but steering wheel is always nice and clean you've got the pedal shifters it's a racket system up shift down shift nice and simple your indicator left right it's here uh, you have lifter on the right hand side the lowest so all you have to do is press up the button like so and it's gonna lift up the front end by two inches oh I see okay yeah but at 40 miles an hour, it automatically lowers it, and yeah. then you have another 
here, click here, and if you want to bring it down, it'll do so nice and quickly. So then you have a cluster control here in case you want a nice clean view. <laughs> and give you all the essentials basically your tachometer, your speed as well as the gear. Just the basic stuff, yeah. yeah. And if it's is nice and clear, so again, it's extremely simple. You've got your regular menu here, you connect your phone, you have your navigation variable drift control is a superb option in case you want to misbehave a little bit. You have to put this in dynamic mode, activate variable drift control, and then you can certainly oh, you can control you can, gear, oh. yeah, but de degree by degree, how much you want a Got slide. it. Basics, yeah. You have a rear view camera in case you want to see what's behind you. And then you use a manual, so anything you want to look sure. up is available here. Yeah. Active dynamic panel allows you to change out between the uh, handling as well as uh, powertrain options. You have your comfort, sport, and track modes. Within the handling, you have the EAC electronic stability control. You can turn it off as well as a manual here within the powertrain in case you want to shift up to uh, your manual gear selector. Very cool. So we'll start off. Uh, Very cool. Yeah, sport is kind of my sweet spot, so I'll start with sport and manual. It just gives you a nice feel of a Yeah, supercar. okay. Here we go, first gear. We're in the drive. And we have our rear window open, so we can hear the exhaust. beneath this mask you would see the broadest grip wow what a wagon it feels so nice to drive this car a proper sports car sport mode sport mode of those turbos behind me. You can hear them as well. The wonderful exhaust as well, just bubbling along. Terrific. The grin gets oh, it changes down by itself. in this and be very very comfortable in this particular one this is different to the one we looked at in the showroom this has more leather in it than it does 
Alcantara. As you can see, very well equipped car. side of the speed limit. <laughs> well, I can if I want use my paddles here. Listen to that V8 behind me. just to take it a bit easy, especially when it's somebody else's car. <laughs> Listen to that V8. S on a beautiful sunny day. Thank you very much to McLaren of Greenwich, Connecticut. I'm going to put the contact details up on the screen for you to be able to see those. Uh, and come in and, and buy that lovely orange McLaren 720S. And I promise you, you will not be disappointed. This is a wonderful car to drive. Well, that's what you need to know about the McLaren 720S. I hope you enjoyed watching this film as much as I have being with the car. Thank you very much to Miller Motor Cars and McLaren of Greenwich, Connecticut for loaning me the car for the morning to bring to you guys. Uh, otherwise, thanks very much for watching. Uh, do please consider subscribing and give me a like if you've got this far. And I'll see you in the next one.